Ruka was founded on the two chevrons, which is uh, three vector points, which make a V and an A without an arm. We have a arm. strong surf team, a skate team, we call them our advocates. At the same time, we have our A and P program. It's, a, it's artist network program. Artists are truly what drive this brand. And it's not just artists, it's musicians as well. It's anybody making crafts, whatever it might be. It's supporting people who are doing a creative thing, and, but doing it with integrity. One of the tenets of Ruka is to act as a platform to you know, accentuate artists or photographers or the advocates and athletes we work with. So we try to come with a very clean, open aesthetic, not to be over graphic, over vomited on. At the time when Ruka started, there wasn't really a platform for a lot of the artists and designers that did a lot of stuff with these major companies. So I just knew deep down inside I was doing a lot of freelance design and so on. I wanted to create a platform for artists and that's where the, the printing of the artist's name on the back came in and the Artist Network program. It's not focused on one guy, it's more of like what this group of guys represent as a whole, you know? I'm down for Ruka, like, for life pretty much, you know? Straight up. I think when Ruka came out, there was something about the aesthetic of, like, the, the image of the brand that um, was kind of attractive. It was, you know, really simple and really clean, and, which was kind of like a, which was different at the time, you know? Everyone was really trying to shoved so much down your face and uh, I think like the negative space in their their art direction I kind of liked and kind of looked a little bit cleaner and a little bit more subtle. Oh